No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? Thank you for being Gorga today. I am so stoked because today we're gonna be filming a full face using new makeup. We just got like, honestly you guys, so much new stuff in here. And it's crazy though, because I just filmed a testing new makeup video like literally like two weeks ago. And here we are with like more new makeup, like in two weeks worse. I was like, how did this even happen? Happen. We got some new stuff from One Size. We got some new Artist Couture. That new Huda Beauty highlighter, that's literally the biggest highlighter I've ever seen in my entire life. That's big. We got the new Becca stuff that they swear is a no pigment foundation, girl. I'm excited. So yeah, you guys, that's today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You don't know with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like makeup, if you guys like the gays, click like and subscribe. Yay! <laughs> Let's get sworn. Let's <laughs> start obviously with punchy primer. There's a dog treat in here. KVD sent me dog treats. It was the sweetest thing ever. Okay, so we have a new, okay, obviously with a new primer, we have a new foundation. This is the new Born This Way 24 Hour Matte. <laughs> I don't really use matte foundation as much anymore because I like a little movement, a little movement in my skin. But let's go in with the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. This is supposed to be our foundation for the video. So you guys, obviously, Becca launched this recently. This is their Becca Zero No Pigment Foundation. <laughs> See, the thing is, I feel like this is just a primer and the marketing behind it was genius being a no pigment foundation. Like, what the thing? Like, it's just gonna fill your pores in to make it look like you're wearing foundation or honestly just have you pill, fill, pilled fours. <gasps> filled pores. You know what it looks like? The little downy balls that you, like, back in the day, like, my nana would have these. It's a very weird looking thing, weird consistency. It's a very, uh, I don't know. I truly don't know. We're gonna just go ahead and take that. It looks like just, literally looks like straight up silicone. Let's go ahead and put this on our skin. I'm just gonna see if it like will actually blur our pores and like what's gonna actually happen. Cause this is supposed to be no pigment foundation, right? So we'll see about that, honey. We'll see about that. So as you can see when I swipe it on, it becomes more matte automatically as I'm applying it. But baby, 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 this whole notion of no pigment foundation, that's not the tea. That's not what this is, you guys. This is literally just a primer. A pore filling kind of primer. But is it even filling our pores? I'm gonna use this big ass one size. This one size mirror, this is the biggest mirror I've ever seen. This will fit anyone's face, a one size face. So obviously my pores look a little bit more filled in and it feels very silicone-y. But you guys, when I tell you I still need foundation, um, I do. I think that's a gimmick. It's not a product that is like, a fa it's not a foundation. It's a primer that's gonna fill in your pores a little bit. But even then, my pores are still very noticeable. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. They also have a no pigment glass highlighter for lip and face. Right, right, right. Well, we're gonna see you out there. It looks like a glass. It's a pinchy glass. It's an everywhere glass. Hmm. Feels kind of silky and smooth. It reminds me of like the way the Morphe one felt, which makes me really happy, actually. A little bit actually stickier than the Morphe one, which I'm shocked, but... Let's see, we're just gonna put a little bit on, and this is gonna go underneath our foundation because I honestly, I can't be bothered. Dot com, dot org. I'm not gonna lie though, it just one actually does feel a little sticky. Obviously it's giving me a gorgeous glossy glass-like effect, but it's a little sticky, dude. The sticky icky? Sticky icky Vicky over here. Really pretty on the skin, but definitely more of a, use this product. So as we can see, it's definitely glossy. It's glassy, it looks pretty on the skin. And I'm gonna put this underneath because I feel like, I'm, I really feel like I'm not gonna like it on top of my foundation because honestly, gloss on top of foundation, baby, it will break you apart. Also, this is more sticky and doesn't feel as primary as the Morphe one did. I like the Morphe one actually better than this one. Now let's go in with the new Born This Way 24 hour long wear foundation. They literally only sent me this shade. Like, so I'm hoping and praying that this is gonna match. And that's the shade Porcelain. Oh my God. You can still see a little bit of that glossy consistency with the foundation over it, which I like. It's giving me that dewy finish. I'm just hoping it doesn't actually disturb the product too much. You guys, oh my gosh, the jaundice of it all. How is this the shade Porcelain? How is it that in the last recent videos, like my foundation has been so not good matching? It's been so bad. <laughs> you guys, okay, honestly, this is not the tea. What I will say, the coverage is like a nice medium coverage. Honestly, it's laying on the skin really nicely. I just wish I had my color. How is porcelain not my shade? Like honestly, truly, 
I think it looks really pretty actually. Ignore the color. Please. We're going to absolutely be concealing and that will definitely help with matching my face correctly. But anyway, like I was saying, it's a nice medium consistency. It's definitely not super matte like I thought it was gonna be. Like it's not dried down fully at all yet. Oh my God, it's like making my hairline look so white. Guys, I need your help here. It smells like the Estee Lauder, pro, like that kind of Estee Lauder matte foundation, that MAC Studio Fix. It gives you that kind of scent and that fragrance. Anyway, you guys, first impressions so far, I actually think it's very pretty. I think it looks really, really pretty on the skin. I don't feel like it gives me a really matte texture. I feel like it's drying down really nicely. What the fuck? 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. Oil free, oil controlling, waterproof and transfer resistant. So technically it doesn't say it's matte. There's no, yes there is. It says born this way matte right there. Right, <laughs> right fucking there. So obviously it's less dewy than the born this way, the regular one, but it's, to me, this is not very matte. What's matte? Even on my hand, like that doesn't look matte to me. I can definitely smell the long wear in it. Like it smells like long wear foundation. First impressions, it's not very matte, but it is drying down. It just doesn't give me a matte finish. I'm still enjoying it though. Let me put some concealer on to really start like helping our face color right now because this is out of control. Let's get reality back to set in mama. Let's get reality back. Let's go back to reality. Back. To life. Back to <laughs> okay, I've had a little pre-workout. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> I have to say the foundation's looking really pretty. And even though it's not drying down to a full matte finish like I was expecting, I was expecting more of a powdery matte finish. It's giving me like a satin matte finish, and I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, first impression, this is my first impression, and honestly, it's pretty good. I wish I had my shade and I wish it actually matched me better, but I'm not mad at it. I'm truly not mad at this. For a matte foundation, that's pretty. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I powdered my face a little bit, just a little quick set, and added some bronzer to the skin to, for some dimension. And honestly, I'm looking sickening and very matte now that I've lightly powdered, it's very, very matte. With that light powder, obviously you're putting powder, it's gonna mattify, but it's really powdery. <laughs> so next we have some blushes I would like to try. We got this new one from M Cosmetics, this peachy, like it's like a serum, it's like a, a blush serum in Peachy Keen. I'm not sure they just launched new shades. And we have this new Sunkissed in June, Naomi Smalls X Kimchi with these blushes. So like, I'm like torn. What to y'all? We're gonna try this. <laughs> and then we're gonna take a little bit of that too, just to kind of put over top, just to solidify it. But it's like a little dropper with like a little serum. <laughs> okay, you gonna drop her or what? So you're telling me I'm going to put this in, soak up, and nothing is gonna come out. Okay. What the hell? So we're just gonna put a little bit of that on. <laughs> we're gonna put that on the cheeks just to lightly dab in. I'm just gonna see what we got going. It's like giving me a glow. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it's very, very like oily. Very that. Okay. I don't think I like that, you guys, to be quite honest. Also, the dropper is. Horrible. We're just gonna put a little bit on, a very little bit, just like I did on the other side. I feel like this might be great for someone who wants that minimalistic, like, vibe, that, like, really, really soft makeup that you can't really see that you're wearing. And it's like, oh my god, is that from within? Are you blushing from within or from without? And you don't know. That might be this. But see, that's not my journey. Once you, like, really pat it in, you get it to a cute spot. It has, like, a, you can see there's a little bit of blush tone. But honestly, I don't like the dropper and I don't like the effect on my skin. It's honestly too dewy. It's too wet looking. It's not like what I want for a blush, I guess. And I'm not really into shimmery blushes, so maybe that's why. For me, this is not really a win. I don't really like it, to be honest. Moving on, let's go ahead and put a little bit of that blush on from Kim and Naomi's palette, just to set it in place, just a little bit, to set the serum. We're gonna set the serum very lightly. See, much better. And I'm mixing both blushes, to be honest. I'm mixing them both. Dude, that's so cute. That's so much better. That's what I was expecting from the little serum blush, but that was just so minimalistic, I didn't like it. The blush powders are yes. Because even swatching the powders, they feel amazing. They're so nicely pressed. They're like a really nice bright pink, and then a like more terracotta nude blush. I feel like those work out really, really, really nicely, and I really like those a lot. The serum blush, not my tea. It's not my tea. I'm not really a fan. We have this highlighter from Miss Huda Beauty. I just realized, I think... Dude, my highlighter's fully cracked. Look at, do you guys see? It's fully cracked. Oh my God. I bet you anything. If I were to open this and go like that, it would come out. <gasps> no, you see that shit? Anyway, <laughs> this is literally the biggest highlighter I've ever seen. I'm not kidding you. Like, let me just compare it to, let's say, let me pull out my Moon Prism powder, right? Let me pull out Miss Venus really quickly. Just as like a, just a simple comparison. 
Okay, so we're gonna swatch this. Honestly, I've already swatched it. And I thought it was stunning. This is a body highlighter that you can also use on the face. So that's why it's also priced at what it, I think it's like $55. So it's super expensive, but look how huge it is. It kind of makes sense. I didn't realize it was so big. And then when I saw it, I was like, that's why it's so expensive. Cause it's the size of my fucking hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try that out and see what we think of Miss Nymph Highlighter for the body. And just kind of see. By the way, you guys, in case you guys did not know, I'm a Huda Beauty affiliate now. So in case you guys ever want anything from Huda Beauty, you guys can go to their site. Oh, it's a little dark for me. <laughs> you can go to their website and type in code Manny M U A, and you guys are gonna save some ten percent off. It's a very new thing, by the way. This color is a little dark for me because I can see it from the front, but it gives you the most stunning shine. I mean, honestly, it's not that dark. It's not that dark. I can definitely make it work, but. It's darker than I thought it was gonna be on me. So I can still see a little bit of like that golden cast on the side of my face, but the effect is stunning. If you're like a little bit darker than me, like a little bit darker, I literally think you're gonna be obsessed with this because it actually is stunning and gives off of this most gorgeous sheen. Oh, you can see it's a little dark. Oh God, it's a little dark for me. Let's go in with these highlighters. I just wanna give it a little bit more of a light feel. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Maybe to a drag queen to give me that highlight. Oh. <laughs> This little palette's sickening. Naomi and Kimchi, y'all did that. If you don't like Naomi and Kimchi, <laughs> I'm gonna need reasons, and I'm gonna need you to get those eyeballs checked, mama, because they are sickening. Okay, so I, I do like the highlighter. I think it's stunning, and I think the effect is gorgeous on the skin. It gives you this like insane like reflection. So, so, so pretty. However, I just honestly think it's a little too dark for my complexion. It gives me a cast on the skin, and I don't really like that. Hmm, I really wanted it to be perfect for my skin. But I do think that because it is slightly darker than me, it will honestly probably be the most like universal highlighter like out there that will fit a lot of skin tones. It really, really will. Cause even on me, like it fits me a little bit, but not fully. If you're just a little bit darker than me, but this is also made in Italy, all over body highlighter. Like it's crazy, it's crazy, it's huge. Before we move on to the brows, I wanna use these little ColourPop pens. So ColourPop recently re released these little freckle pens, and I actually think it's like such a cute, adorable idea. We have dark brown and we have soft brown, and it's literally just a freckle pen to create full freckles on the skin, but specifically like a freckle product. Okay, well shit. So by the way, you guys, for those asking, cause I actually get comments like almost every single day asking about my ColourPop affiliate. You guys currently like the ColourPop affiliate program is like kind of down. Like a lot of people's codes are not working because of everything going on with Corona. ColourPop told us that because of everything going on, they had to like temporarily take down the affiliate program. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. So I apologize to you guys if you guys have tried using my code and it's not working, it's not going through, it's not giving you guys a percentage off. I totally apologize for that. I don't actually know what's going on myself, but yeah, hopefully things will be fixed. Anyway, I'm just gonna see which one I wanna use for me. <gasps> they look so cute. I just like typed the little three taps in and we have a really dark version. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with the little soft brown one and see <gasps> what we're gonna do. I'm freckling! Don't you like pat it in? Okay, so it's like it's like a little ink. So it's like a little ink, it dries really fast. So you almost like need to be really quite precise of where you wanna place the freckles. Cause baby, she dries quick. She dries quick. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be my color. This is the softer shade, by the way, you guys. The soft brown. The darker one would have been honestly too dark for me. But I'm loving how it looks, actually. Definitely, this is not gonna be like for natural freckles. I feel like this is definitely more along the lines of like, look, I have freckles that are fake. Ha 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 ha. Look at my full freckles. Like, that's what I feel this is. This is definitely not one of those. Like, freck is more natural than this. For sure, because you just kind of blend it out and it kind of blends into the skin super easily. So if you're looking for something more natural, freck is gonna be the way to go. But for like a little faux freckle moment and you're like, look at, look at my faux freckles. This is actually really cute. It's really, really cute. I like it. And it's actually really easy to control because it's like, the more pre pressure, like the deeper they go. We're freckling. And yeah, when you tap it, nothing happens. It stays the same. Anyway, I'm freckled now, and I actually think it's really, really adorable. Look at those little freckles. What do you guys think? But obviously you can see that they look like fake freckles. Like they're not like more, they're not realistic looking. This honestly works, and from the distance you can see, I have little fake freckles, and I'm looking freckly. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys like that full freckle look? Do you want it to be more natural looking? Do you guys like the more not natural looking moment? What do you guys think? Okay guys, I'm gonna go fill my brows in real quickly and prime my eyes and we'll be back to do some shadows. Okay guys, so as we can see, we are back and the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. I wanna fucking Vogue, man. I wanna just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Wouldn't that be so stunning? 
Uh, legendaries fucked me up for life. <gasps> anyway, you guys, we have some palettes I wanted to dive into. We have the new One Size Visionary Palette, and then we also have the Artist Couture Caliente Palette. This is a little bold for what I want to go in with today, so I'm not going to really dip into her as much. I'm going to go in with maybe Sensual, which is more of like a neutral brown. I just want to try the colors out. I just want to see Fuego. Ooh, they are so... Let me just show you guys how pigmented they are. One swatch, one swipe. Angel. Who said you can be this sickening bitch? And then we have the one size palette right here, which is more of like a neutral fantasy. Neutral fantasy going on right here. I actually really, really like the emojis embossed on. I think that's really a cute ass touch for sure. But let's go ahead and go in and try some of these shades out and see what we think. Let me just do a couple swatches just to see. Very soft, nice, nicely pressed. See those, those are pigmented. That's pressed really lightly by the way, that one. That guy's very shimmery. That shade, everything is stunning. So we have a really, really pretty neutral, soft color story. Should we do something with the green? I feel like low-key we should. I think we're going to, and then we have all of it. By the way, you guys, the palette, this one is like, I didn't realize like that it was like shaped like this. Like, like it's not perfectly rectangle. It has like this like little beveled edge here and you like open it. And I remember seeing something about like how Patrick like has long nails. So he has a hard time opening palettes. So what you do is like he'll grasp onto this and then like pop it open because he has like bigger nails. I thought that was a really, really, really cool touch. I just wanted to swatch all of it because that's like a really gorgeous olive, like olive gold. Wow, I'm excited. Let's go in with these. Okay, I'm gonna go in firstly with the shade Cultura and I'm just gonna go in because this is like more of a yellowy tone and I'm gonna go in with some like kind of olives. So I think that's gonna go play really nicely in the crease. Why not? Let's just do something more fun on the eyes today. Something a little more olive. I'm usually the copper eye nude lip king as we all know this and we all love it and we know it well. But I do like to play around sometimes and kind of play with different color stories and things like that. So obviously we're gonna do that today. But anyway, you guys, that Cultura shade is actually sickening and it's blending out gorgeously. It's pigmented. It's really, really nice. Like I feel like that's gonna go really, really nicely with that olive shade. So far, the Caliente palette is muy caliente. <gasps> Do you guys like when I speak Spanish? <laughs> you know, my Mexican roots, um, the roots are far, 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 far down in there. You know, being a Latina is hard. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> But no, seriously, I'm very proud of my Mexican heritage, my Spanish and Mexican heritage. Muy caliente. Hmm. Anyway, this is absolutely divine, and I'm living the full fantasy. Love that, love that, love that. Okay, so now let's go in with the Morphe M433. We're going to take that shade Matcha, which is like a really pretty, like, olive type green shade. By the way, guys, the shadows, like, they're pressed softly. You can tell they're, like, a little more on the soft side. Soft serve, honey, soft serve. I'm gonna put that. They're nicely pigmented though. Like because they're obviously are pressed a little bit softer. They're they're really, really pigmented. Look at that. Look at that. That's actually very, very nice. We're gonna blend this into the crease. Into that cultura shade. Just because I feel like it will actually blend together nice. You guys see how we're going with like a color story here? What do you guys think? I think it honestly looks really, really pretty. The olive shade is working gorgeously. This matcha shade is honestly working very, very, very nicely. I think it looks so pretty. And I feel like the two palettes are blending very, very nicely together. Who would have thought I'd have two gay boys on my face at the same time? <laughs> like I haven't before. Come on, Manuel, come on. Be serious here, girl. Honestly, it's really, really, really pretty. Very pigmented, very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna check a little bit of all of it on the lid it's like a really pretty shimmer gold olive that's gonna go all over the lid and we're just gonna see what we can kind of accomplish here it's pretty it's like a nice shimmer shade it's not as much of a pop as like the shade everything in the palette is high shimmer but it's not like that kind of glittery shimmer effect that's not what it is like let's say everything and all of it you can see that everything this shade right here has that really intense like almost a like glittery reflection to it that the all of it doesn't have as much so you can see that there's obviously reflect in it you can see right there I can't believe my ass is doing a fucking green olive look. Like, y'all probably expected me to go in with some neutrals, huh? But I wanted to experiment and have fun. I also wanted to go in with one of these. He also came out with these eye poppers, and I love the play on the word popper. If you guys are gay or know anything about the gay world, y'all know what poppers are. So the fact that he named it this, I live. Anyway, we're gonna go in with the shade Continental, and it's like a glittery eye topper. It's like one of those like Stila, Stale Day kind of glitters. And we're gonna try these out and see what we think. I haven't tried these yet, of course. I just wanna swatch them on. That swatches nicely, has a really nice coverage to it. Before I go in with that, let's go ahead and see the other ones too. I'm just kinda curious to see what they swatch like. So this one, like the more silvery one right here. As you can see, this is the, the more silvery one. It's more cool toned. This one has less base in it, has more glitter. 
This one's a little bit more sheer than the olive one. Moving on, let's go in with that olive one and see how that goes onto the eye because I really feel like Pressing it on is the way to go. Like this is what I want on the lid, you know? I want that pop. I want the eye popper, if you will. <laughs> that is literally stunning on the eye. This is exactly what I was going for. I feel like that olive base really, 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 really helped. They dry also very, very fast, by the way. Like they're actually drying super quickly, which I do enjoy. I think that it's really, really nice. That it does dry more of a quicker consistency. Let me swatch another one. The shade that I saw that I liked the most was Everything and More, which I'm assuming is like a play on the Everything shade in the palette. But I just wanted to see what this one swatches like. This one has much more base and glitter to it. I like this one a lot more. This one's probably my favorite so far. The other shade I thought was stunning was Pea House. Let me swatch this one as well. Got a good swatch of it right there. That's Miss P House right there. That one is a little bit more sheer than the other one is. Not as much glitter deposited on this one. So you can see that's a little bit more on the sheer side. Not as impactful as like the everything shade is, let's say necessarily. I feel like some of them are a little bit more glittery than the others. And I think that it honestly just depends per shade. But honestly, she was cute. Like she was really, really cute. Let's go in with his little eyeliner. Cause he also came out with one of those. And let's see how bold it really is. He said it was one of the best eyeliners he's ever tried. So I'm like, all right, let's see. My eyes look sickening by the way. Oh, that's black, black. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. That's going over really, really, really nicely. You guys, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this eyeliner. I wish it was a brush tip, of course. This is more of a felt tip liner, but you know, that's just me personally. Also, the liner is drying matte, which I really like. Honestly, it's very black, super intense. I still was able to create a wing with it. Even though it's more of a felt tip, I was still able to create a nice wing with it. First try, and I'm really liking the consistency, how it's drying down. It's drying down extremely, extremely dark, which I really enjoy and matte. Ooh, that's good. This is fucking good. This is staying on the desk. That is a, if it's staying on the desk, it's kind of a badge of honor on this channel. Okay guys, I'm gonna go finish the eye off camera real quickly at both sides and I'll be back to test more newness out. Come on newness. Okay guys, so we are back and we have a little lash on. This is what they look like. This is what the eyes look like after everything is on. And honestly, I think it turns out so well. I really, really like how the eyes turned out. I feel like it looks so pretty on camera. What do you think? Also, by the way, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. I used the one size liner, the brown liner to put into the waterline. I want to show you guys, it's actually very, very pigmented. Put into the waterline, it's very, very creamy, but it actually dries really, really fast. So you have a little bit of uh, lead time to blend it out. So I put it in my waterline and blend it on my lower lash line pretty quickly because it does dry very, very, very fast. So just so you guys are aware of that, and that's what it looks like. So, okay, so quick overview of the one size products that we have here. The palette, I honestly really, really liked it. I thought it was turned out fantastically. The shadows worked very, very, very well. And I thought they performed very nicely. The mattes worked great. The shimmers I was watching them, they swatched really, really nicely as well. So kudos to the palette. The eye poppers, I liked some of them. Some of them I didn't like as much. They all had a great color and a great like glitter pop to the eyes, obviously. Like the green one looks stunning, but some of them weren't as full coverage as the other ones. So some of them I liked, some of them I didn't like as much. And the liners were amazing. The like eyeliners were incredible. And the eyeliner, the red one, bitch, it was so good. The way it dried down that matte finish, it was delectable, chef's kiss. So those are actually really, really, really nice. So majority of the one size new products turned out fantastic, to be honest. The Caliente palette by Arch Couture, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I was watching them, did one shade on the eye. It looked absolutely stunning. Now let's go on to the lips. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and take the new Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. I haven't tried this yet. I'm very interested to try it out and see what we think. Very fine mist. Oh, it smells divine. It's so much better smelling than, you guys, do you guys remember the last one? The other spray from Huda, it was the scent of that will haunt my dreams forever. This feels amazing, actually. It's such a fine, soft mist that I can spray 20 times and be fine. By the way, the foundation, I'm literally living, by the way. Like the foundation, I feel like actually looks stunning. Like it moves with my face so nicely. Like there's no cracking and cre like creasing between my smile lines like at all. And that happens really fast for me. So I'm a little gagged at the foundation. I actually think I'm really liking it. I'm a little shocked that matte foundation is so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lippy now. We have the new Patrick Ta lipsticks, which I thought would be really, really cute to try out. They have this nude one, which is the Oshi Single Shade. My hand is fucked, truly. This is a really pretty nude color. It's a little too dark for me, honestly. Too dark of a nude, a nude that I don't really like as much. So I'm gonna go a little bit on. And we're just gonna lightly like pillow that on, you know? Like this. 
The consistency is like really, really, really matte formula. Like even the bullet, you can see it's, it's super, super matte. It's like that hyper matte <laughs> formula. I'm gonna put a gloss over this just to kind of make the color lighter. So that's what that looks like. Super pretty on the lips. It feels really, really nice. And it's still like, even though it's matte, it still feels kind of hydrating. Little glitter flake fell onto my nose. Is there any glitter fallout on my lashes? Not really, there's like, a, there's a couple flakes. Oh, that lash is coming up. What the fuck? There's a couple of little like glitter particles that fell onto my lash, but they're not that bad. Honestly, there's a lot worse. And I think it's because I dry down was so quick that it really adheres to the skin, which I really, really like about the eye poppers. But anyway, back to the lipstick. Stunning, I feel like the formula is really, really, really nice. Really comfortable, still very matte, but it doesn't feel drying. It feels like I'm not really wearing any lipsticks on, which is really, really sickening. I'm gonna put a little bit of gloss on. Let's take a little bit of Lunar Beauty, because she's stunning. Taking Moon, just to kind of give me that nude effect I'm going for. See, that's what I want right there. That's what I want right there. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, by the way, you guys, my glasses, <laughs> they're coming back very soon. Hopefully in August. My blush palette is for sure coming back in August. The glosses are taking a little bit longer than the blush is to create. So what I'm gonna probably do is I'm actually going to launch the blush palette because a lot of people just want the blush palette only, my Moon Prism blush palette. I'm gonna launch that and then I'm gonna save a couple of them for when I bring back the glosses when they're finally done being created and create little bundles with that. So that's what I'm gonna probably do. Stay tuned for that. But blush palette's coming back in August. Woo! By the way, how cute is this little baddie bee fan? When you dry, you dry your little lashes on? Shut up. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Shut up! I didn't say anything. And that is it, you guys. That's it for us being here, testing all this new makeup that just launched super recently within the last, like, literal two weeks. Like, it's been so many new things that have launched, and honestly, I've been living for these new launches. A lot of them were sickening. A lot of them were, like, questionable. And you're like, is that a gaming? It is. So obviously, as you guys can see, I didn't love everything that I tried, but I did like a lot of the things that I did try. I feel like a lot of them turned out fantastically. And I really, really like how the eye turned out. I like how the face turned out, it looks stunning. I didn't really like that serum blush. I feel like it's actually like kind of like breaking apart, like right there because of that serum product. Like it's separating a little bit out here. Don't like that because the foundation is not breaking apart anywhere else. And it looks stunning. Like I'm really impressed with the foundation, by the way. The lip is gorgeous. The eyes are gorgeous. The freckle product is gorgeous. I love it. I think it turned out fantastic. So anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching this. I love doing a testing new makeup video. N new makeup launches all the time. And I feel like, you know, if I can come in here, do a really honest review of products and what I think of it in my own opinion. I'm not saying that these are gonna be working for everyone and they're not gonna work for everyone. This is just my own personal opinion of what I think about something. And I'm not trying to be harsh or mean or anything about it. I feel like you can review a product without being an asshole about it and just kind of give more feedback and constructive criticism on something rather than being like, a douche about it so i feel like that's kind of the, the reviewer that i am <laughs> and i will continue to be that because i really really enjoy reviewing it like this anyways you guys that is it have a great night or day wherever you guys are and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye i love you Mwah. vicky vicky you're so mean did you guys watch fairly odd parents oh hey mommy you want me in the video no yes you do what is this looks like a potato i'm excited it's a little sicky I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. 100. Anyway. Anyway. For some Jimmy Show.